More than 40 schools around the district are using salmon to raise awareness about environmental issues. Deaf and hard of hearing students from TOPS K-8 and Roosevelt High School got a chance to participate in the Deaf to Deaf experience. All this and more coming up on First Bell. What's up, SBS? I'm Pandora Tosina. And I'm Jason Nguyen. Thanks for tuning in to First Bell, where we chime in with news from around the district. Students have taken over the broadcast and we're excited to share what's happening in our schools. Let's get into it. There's something fishy going on. Here's Elsa Ray Elton with more on the Salmon in a Schools program. Thanks, Jason. Objects that start off as small as a pencil eraser are teaching students big things. We stopped by Dunlap and Co. Elementaries to see how raising salmon teaches students the importance of mindfulness and respecting the land. Every day at Dunlap Elementary, students in William Depesoy's fourth grade class take the reins in caring for a tank of baby Chinook salmon. They oversee everything from changing the water to gathering worms for feedings. They even planted a garden so that the water doesn't go to waste. It's a great lesson in responsibility. So we usually have a team of four or five every recess volunteering to go ahead and change the salmon tank. Most important thing is students are actually doing the learning and that's what we hope is that Salmon Schools becomes a student focused activity rather than a teacher maintenance activity. Cole Elementary has been participating in Salmon in the schools for more than 20 years. Third grade teacher Madison Russell got involved after hearing about how the program inspires curiosity in the students. From kindergarten to fifth grade, everyone was so excited to see the salmon eggs come and uh, watch their development uh, before we release them back at Kirkheap Park. Russell said caring for salmon goes beyond science. Students are also learning about the cultural and historical significance of salmon as well. It's clear from Russell's students that raising salmon has had an impact on their learning. I just like, um, like seeing them grow because it really makes me happy and proud. You can learn more about these programs in the extended version of this story on First Bell. Extra credit on all SPS social media. Back to the studio. The Deaf to Deaf experience teaches deaf and hard of hearing students how to succeed in life without communication barriers. Grayson Redmond has the story. Seattle Public Schools has more than 400 students with a diagnosed hearing impairment. At the Deaf to Deaf experience, deaf and hard of hearing students learn while making connections. Hundreds of deaf, hard of hearing, and deaf blind students from across Washington State and Alaska gathered at the Junior Achievement Facility in Auburn for the Deaf to Deaf experience. The two day program teaches middle and high school students the skills and knowledge they'll need to plan for their future and make smart academic and financial choices. Celeste Lane Cummings is a ninth grader at Roosevelt High School. She said the experience helped her prepare for real life scenarios. I don't get a lot of like deaf people kind of helping me learn about how to like do certain things with financial stuff. So to have this force that kind of helps you find your career with the deaf community is really helpful. Even though the deaf to deaf experience is focused on academic and financial success, students also attend to meet others like them. These are districts all over the state of Washington, including Eastern Washington, Western Washington, and we even have Alaska, and sometimes we get Oregon up here. So that's a, a great thing because these are all kids who may go to college together someday, and it's a really small community. But the best part about it is these are kids who will make friendships that will last for the rest of their lives. There's more to learn about the deaf and hard of hearing community in SBS. We'll be revisiting this story in the coming months. We've got a few important announcements. Get ready for the rundown. The window to take the Smarter Balanced Assessment is now open for students in grades 3 through 8 and 10th grade. The assessment measures how well students are meeting college and career readiness standards. Other assessments will also be happening this spring. Visit the district website for more details. We know families are waiting to see those grades! Starting April 24th, families can view second trimester progress reports for grades K-5 through on the source. The Naramore Art Show celebrates over 200 works of art by SPS middle and high school students. The exhibit runs until May 14th. Be sure to stop by the Seattle Art Museum to check it out. Next month is Teacher Appreciation Week. If you want to say thank you to a teacher who's made an impact on your life, let us know. You can find a link on the district webpage. And to see longer versions of these stories, check out First Bell Extra Credit on SBS social media channels. That's it for this episode. The Student Takeover continues next month, so be sure to tune in. Until next time, 
I'm Jason Nguyen. And I'm Pandora Tosina. We'll see you later for First Bell.